What's up everybody, Mr. Martin here. We are going to be doing our final part for the train project, which is going to be the cow catcher. We're going to make the cow catcher part and then we're going to make a slight modification on the body. So we need to put a couple holes to get the uh, cow catcher to attach onto the front and the hitch to go into the back. So we'll do that after we make the cow catcher. But to begin, we're going to make a new sketch on the top plane and we're going to make the following shape um we're going to make a line going this way and a line going this way and we're going to dimension these two lines so we're going to dimension the height end of the line it's going to be 0.75 inches the height of this line will also be 0.75 and then we're going to dimension the horizontal distance to be 0.9 inches um, for both of these. All right, now that we've got those, we can make a couple more lines. We're gonna make quarter inch vertical line here, a 1.8 inch vertical line here, and then finish it off there, and there's our shape. Now we can press the green arrow, finish sketch, go back to a isometric view, and we're going to extrude this a distance. Oh, sorry. We're not going to extrude it. We're going to create an offset plane. So that is, uh, where's the offset plane button? There to go. So we're going to create an offset plane that is offset um, 0.75 inches from the top plane or from the uh, sketch we drew. Either one works. Uh, now we're going to create a new sketch on this plane one. Um, so we can actually just click there in the browser. So we're making a sketch in plane one. And it's going to be um, the sketch is going to be the same shape that we just drew, just smaller, and it'll be on plane one. So we're going to use the um, line tool again, and we're going to say that it's here draw a diagonal here we'll draw a diagonal as well we're going to dimension this this uh point here will be 0.25 inches from the other one then we're going to have a vertical distance of 0.5 inches a horizontal distance of 0.6 inches and that'll be for both of these angled lines. So they're 0.5 and 0.6. And then we're going to have lines here. 0.25 inches. Then it'll be 1.2 inches across. And then down. And we have that shape. So now if we finish that sketch and we look at our little part, if we can get to a good view. Okay. So we have the um, top part and bottom part, and we're going to do a loft. So we're going to select the loft tool, which I believe is, uh, here we go, loft. Uh, we'll select the bottom face first and then the top face and then it'll just loft everything like this. If you were to make a part in a different fashion and you had extra um, points in there, it's going to screw up your loft. So make sure that you're making it in the same order that I did and you shouldn't have any issues. So we made our loft and we're good to go. Now we're going to rotate the part so we can see the bottom. And we're going to use something that we haven't used before, which is shell. We're going to click the bottom face and we want our shell thickness to be one. So that hollows out the inside of the cow catcher. All right. And that's good for that. Now we're going to create a sketch on, I'm just going to hide plane one because it's annoying. All right. Hit plane one. Uh, we're going to make a sketch on this face here. And And we're going to use a tool called the offset tool, which is right here. And we're just going to select in here and we can actually drag this arrow in and we're going to type in 0.1. 
And that offsets the exact same shape inside of the shape that we were doing before. Um, so we have this dimension here. So this trapezoid is offset 0.1 inches from the other trapezoid. So we're going to finish that sketch and we can remove extrude. So we click that trapezoid we just added. We're going to remove it and it will be removed a distance of 0 0.05 inches. And that shouldn't give us any geometrical errors. So I was getting some before. So if you encounter anything where you end up with red stuff here in the feature list or um, stuff doesn't start, stuff is not displaying right, you might have to mess around with it a few times. It's something that did happen to me when I was practicing this piece. Um, luckily, we didn't run into it here. We're going to do the exact same thing here on the other face. So we're going to create a sketch here. We're going to use the offset tool. We're going to drag it in. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Let's try that again. Sketch, offset, here, drag that in. I'm going to hit enter, and then I'm going to type 0.1. That gets us what we want. Finish our sketch, extrude, click our new region, depth of 0 0.05, and remove. And we should be good to go. No errors popping up here in our feature list. So it looks like we're just keep on moving. All right, the last thing we have to do with the cow catcher is to put pegs on the back face uh, to connect it with the train body. So we're gonna make a new sketch here on this back face and we're gonna draw three circles. Um, doesn't really matter where they are. Uh, they're gonna be 0.125 inches each. And the location doesn't matter because we're gonna dimension where they are um, next. So. This one here is going to be a 0.625 inches from the bottom, and it's going to be 0.9 inches from there, so it's centered properly. This one here, actually both of the bottom circles are gonna be 0.125 inches from the bottom edge. That's not 1.25, 0.125 inches. And we're gonna do point, well, let's not dimension it from there. Undo that one. We'll dimension the center point of this circle from here is gonna be 0.625 inches. And then the distance between these two circles is going to be 1.25 inches. So that gets those three circles where we want them to be. They're fully constrained, looking good. And we're going to extrude both, all three of these circles now. And we'll extrude them all a distance of 0.125 inches. And looks good. And we're gonna finish our extrude. Assign PLA as our material. and pull up our material properties here. So select part one, there we go. Material properties, our mass is about 0 0.012 pounds. Uh, it's, it's light because it's hollow. Um, it has a large volume though, 0.267 cubic inches. So that is the cow catcher. Um, but before we get into assembling everything together, we need to add some holes onto the body. So let's go ahead and switch over to here to the body so we're going to add three holes to the front of the body and one hole to the back of the body to match up with the cow catcher and the hitch pin so we're going to make a sketch here on the front and we're going to make the exact same thing we just did so 0.125 inch uh, circles um, just like we did on the cow catcher we're going to put them in the same spots Everything will be perfect. We'll extrude them, we'll cut them out. So this is gonna be 0.125 inches from the bottom. Same with this one here. This will be 0.375 inches from the left side. This will be 1.625 inches from the left side, and this will be one inch from the left side. And it'll be 
0.625 inches from the bottom. All right, so we have all of those are now fully constrained. They're where we want them to be. We finished our sketch and we're now going to extrude, uh, we'll remove extrude them. When we're clicking, we need to make sure that when we're clicking, especially these ones here that have overlapped with the uh, fillet, that we click both parts of the circle. So not, um, so we're not just removing part of the circle. And we're gonna remove these a depth of 0.125 inches, which is the same depth as our peg pieces on the cow catcher. Finish that sketch and that looks great. Exactly what we want. And we're gonna to rotate to the back and we're gonna place one sketch here on this back surface. We're gonna put a circle here. The circle will be 0.25 inches, quarter inch in diameter. It's gonna be directly in the middle here so it'll be one inch from the left side and it will be 0 0.375 inches from the bottom finish your sketch and we're going to extrude remove that circle and we're going to remove it a distance of half of an inch and that's perfect uh, we don't need to do anything else as far as materials there stuff goes here. So we have our train now ready to be fully assembled. So we have the body wheel stack, hitch magnet, hitch pin, axle pig, linkage arm, linkage peg, and the cow catcher all ready to go for our final video, which is going to be the assembly of the train. So be looking forward to that one. If you have any questions, make sure you drop me a message. I'll get back to you as soon as I can, and I'll talk to you soon.